Hello there. What is going on, everyone? Today, we are looking at World of Tanks Wave 5. We have four new tanks to unbox for you guys. And uh, big thanks to Gale Force 9 for sending these out. If you guys are new here to the channel, be sure to enter to win the lightsaber giveaway we've got going on right now. You just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. I wanna know your favorite tank here or your favorite lightsaber color or both. Let me know down in the comment section. Also, uh, check out in the uh, links below, you can get more information if you wanna check out more about Gale Force 9 and their wonderful games, or if you wanna check me out on social media or join the Discord or any of those great things because we are gonna probably have some cool stuff going on in Discord as well. So stay tuned for the end of the video for that. All right, so uh, looking at Wave 5, we're looking at the uh, the Russian ISU-152. We've also got our American M4A1 Sherman 76 millimeter. We have got our, uh, our German Panther tank. And, of course, from England, the Churchill 7. And we're going to be unboxing each of these, taking a look at the uh, miniatures in more detail, as well as the cards that come with them. So let's go ahead and dive into this wave. All right, so first up, we are going to be looking at the uh, the Churchill 7. And uh, these do include uh, some World of Tanks codes for the game. Uh, usually on the inside, if you uh, kind of peel back the inside there, you're going to get a code. Uh, I'm not going to reveal that in the video right now, but what I am going to do is I'm going to put some of these codes uh, available on Discord. Uh, so if you want to if you want to win a free code for some in-game swag, you can do that. And actually, I might reveal one towards the end of the video. So if you're real fast, maybe you'll grab that one right away. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the tank. First, uh, this is uh, pretty nicely detailed. We've got our uh, our tread here sculpted. We have, let me get in a little closer there. We've got uh, lots of paneling and uh, detail on the turret itself. And uh, we can see around the back, we've got all of that detail as well. Now, this is a uh, mobile, 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 or movable. Uh, I ended up saying mobile. It's a mobile uh, turret, so you are actually going to be able to uh, to move this around and kind of set up your your poses in greater detail. And these do come pre primed, so if you uh, if you want to leave them with their uh, you know straight colors, you can do that. Or if you want to add some paint, it's going to go onto them very easily. So uh, looking at the unit card here, we've got the Churchill Seven. It's a heavy tank. Uh, that is me, and of course I like how they give you the little reminder text on there, so it's going to be able to re-roll a die when it's defending. Uh, and then we have a little bit of flavor text down here. Um, on the, uh, the the main side with all the stats, we've got firepower of 4, survivability of 3, mobility of 1, uh, initiative of 5, and uh, it's going to cost 49 points. And uh, it's going to have 6 hit points. It'll have commander, gunner, driver, radio, operator, and loader. For the uh, cards that we're going to get in here, we're going to get uh, an off-road driving driver. Uh, oh, 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 they're a little stuck together. So these are actually really thicker cards. If you've seen my other videos for these, they are thicker, really heavy-duty cards uh, that are going to withstand a lot of abuse, uh, but sometimes they do stick together a little bit. Uh, we've got Peter Kingston as a uh, commander. We also have what else we got? We got two, three, three more in here. We've got the uh, ooh, the Churchill, uh, the Churchill Four uh, turret, which is uh, going to give it fortress, which is pretty cool. Um, and if you're, and of course, a negative cost on that one too. Um, and then of course we've got the uh, seventy-seven millimeter gun Mark II, which is going to cost four more and give you an extra attack power and uh, minus two on the uh, on the initiative. And uh, we've got uh, Pudding and Tea. Uh, and this will repair a radio uh, damaged or bailed out critical card. Of course, that's that would be what the uh, British would do, right? Have some tea that would fix the radio? I don't know. I don't know if that's, uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's okay to say that or not. But that's, that's certainly the implication here. Uh, all right. So that is, uh, there we go. That is the Churchill uh, 7. All right. Next up, it is the Panther Tank. And we're going to be... Take a look. Man, this one is this one's a chunky boy. This is a this is a big this is a big tank right here. 
He is, he's huge, absolutely huge, really tall, uh, really big and beefy. Um, this one does have that fixed turret, so we're not going to get a moobble, a moobble turret on this one. Uh, that is the new word of the day is moobble. Um, so yeah, uh, but very, very, very big. Uh, just for, for reference here, we're going to put him up against uh, the Churchill there. He's definitely uh, stands a little bit taller. Um, he's, got, he's got more, more kind of more weight to to the tank, um, but pretty cool. Nice rear uh, gas cans on the back, and uh, and all kinds of uh, all kinds of detail. So we kind of check this thing out. Very cool. All right, let's take a look at what else we're going to be getting in here. We're going to go ahead and um, take a look at the. Uh, the the tank card here. Uh, it's a medium tank with the light flank keyword. When this tank is on the uh, is the target of a side shot, subtract an additional defense die. So he wants to be kind of pointed directly at you. Uh, does not want to get flanked. Um, although he's a medium tank, he seems like like he, he, he would he could have fooled me because he's feels like he's so so much more hefty than uh, than a lot of the other tanks. But uh, there you go. All right, so uh, he's going to have, uh, he's going to cost 64. He's going to have firepower of five, survivability of two, mobility of three, initiative of five, seven hit points, commander, gunner, driver, radio operator, and loader. For our cards here, we're going to get the, uh, the seven, uh, 7.5 centimeter KWKL100 uh, for three. We're going to get, oh, there we go, get them apart here. We've got the enhanced suspension, and we've got the vertical stabilizer. We've got the relaying card, and one more underneath here. There we go. We've got Philip Stulpnagel as a uh, driver. All right, next up, it's the ISU-52. We're going to pull this thing out, and I love how they kind of put these in here too, so I know a lot of folks might want to kind of keep them all like with their own little uh, storage centers, and the, that kind of gives you easy access to make sure it has a nice little place to fit back in. Um, this also is not going to be one of the uh, one of the mobile turrets, uh, so this one's going to be fixed forward here, um, but uh, lots, lots of heft on this one. Uh, big, big armored front, kind of lower, lower back on there. Um, we got some some cans on the side. A uh, lot of lot of sculpting detail here in the in the uh, wheel wells and then the tread, uh, and, or the track rather. And then of course in the um, the gun tube has got a lot of detailing. Here we go. It's trying to trying to focus on all the different stuffs here. So yeah, that's that's a really cool that's a really cool tank. Very cool tank. Let's take a look at what. The uh, ISU-152 is going to have in store for us. We are going to... Oh, man, this, this has a lot of keywords. A lot of keywords on the ISU-152. It's a tank destroyer. He has got to have an assault gun, a big gun, and fortress. Oh, boy. A lot of keywords. And let's look at the actual stats. 57 for cost. He's going to have firepower of 5, survivability of 2, mobility of 2, initiative of 2, 7 hit points, and the commander, radio operator, a dual slot, gunner, driver, loader, and another loader. So you're going to have some definite different build options on this guy. Um, we, we're going to have the ISU-152 122mm BL-9S gun. We're going to have the uh, Lend Lease Oil. We're gonna have situational awareness at five. We're gonna have eagle eye for five, and then let's see if I, I'm, I'm probably murdering some of these names, but uh, Makar Ushakov at uh, four, and that's what we're gonna have here with the ISU 152. I don't know about you, but that's pretty cool. All right, that's enough. Enough of the dad jokes. All right, last but certainly not least, the M4A1 Sherman 76 millimeter. Now this one, we've got some special things about this one um, because there is actually a really cool 
uh, a really cool printing error on this one. And I'm going to get to that in just a second. Um, but but let, first, let's look at, at the tank. Uh, this one does have the movable turret. And uh, these can also come off if you need to store them for a separate reason. I know with some... Um, some of the vehicles, uh, you know, like, you know, sometimes you just want that, that turret, you know, uh, kind of set down to the side or kind of upside down or laying down sideways or something like that, just so it doesn't get squished, depending on how you're storing it. There are actually pretty cool uh, storage options also available from Gale Force 9. If you haven't already checked out any of my other World of Tanks videos, uh, there's a really cool garage that's a, a nice foam case that's like perfect for this game. So I'm going to put some links over kind of on this side over here towards the end of the video so you can check more of that out. But this is a really nice looking tank. Uh, very, very familiar to me. We used to have lots of lots of these uh, World War II tanks uh, set up all over Fort Hood when I used to be in the Army and uh, lots, you know, lots and lots of tanks. Uh, all over the place, but most of these, I'm not old enough to have uh, served while these were still in service, but uh, but they were definitely around all over the place. Um, now, for here, I did say we were going to put one out there, so if you guys play World of Tanks, if you're looking for a code, uh, this is basically how it's going to look, and uh, there you go. There's going to be an invite code for new players, and also a bonus for existing players. First one to use that is going to get it. Don't worry if you try it and it doesn't work. I'm going to have some more available on Discord. So there you go. Surprise, surprise for somebody new. Um, all right. So, uh, so first thing I want to talk about is the M4A1 Sherman. It's a medium tank, and uh, this one has a really cool misprint on it. So uh, they've already, uh, you know, and Gale Force Nine has already reached out to me. They're already aware of this. You might notice that um, the crew uh, have a little misprint here with the certain positions. So apparently, it is supposed to have five crew, but I'm sure there will be an errata. So you can still use this card. But one of the cool things you could do in the meantime is just put, uh, hey, you know what? I'm going to put whoever I want in there. You know, I think, uh, honestly, you'll probably go with, you know, a commander, probably like a loader and a gunner and a driver and, um, you know, maybe a radio operator or something like that. But I I'm not sure exactly what the uh, what the, the fix is going to be going forward. But I'm sure their website will have the corrected uh, positions on there. But uh, but that gives you a really a cool kind of interim way to say, you know, I'm going to just I want to put like three loaders on there, you know, <clears throat> see see how that works. Uh, but uh, but that that is a, a pretty funny uh, thing. And I, I would suggest before these get reprinted with the corrected stuff, grab one of these as soon as possible, because when you get a, a misprinted uh, card for a game that you love playing, it's a really cool thing to hold on to. Because this very, very rarely happens. So so that could be really fun. Okay, so the M4A1 Sherman is a medium tank. It's going to cost 41. Firepower is going to be 5. Survivability, 1. Mobility of 2. And initiative of 5 with only 4 hit points. So uh, this one's kind of like the little engine that could. He's not not as big and nasty as the other guys. But, but he's also not quite as expensive as the other guys either. All right, so we're going to start off with our... Right Continental uh, R975C4 engine at three points. We're going to have some uh, wet ammo rack uh, at one point. We were going to have a, uh, a, a vertical stabilizer. The uh, Sixth Sense. And, uh, well, we know that at least one of those crew is a loader because we've got Logan... McCarthy, the uh, loader here, and so uh, that, it definitely should tell you a little something about the uh, crew. So, so you're at least going to have one loader on board there. So any house rules you'd be put in, make sure you include at least one loader in there. Of course, how's the tank going to shoot? I mean, you know, when I was in, we used to have, uh, the, you know, the TC, the commander. You'd have a driver, you'd have a gunner, and then you'd have a loader. And, you know, the only one that you really... Couldn't do without was the driver, because the driver would be in a separate compartment down here in the front. But everybody else in there, you know, is kind of cross-trained and can kind of can take over for somebody else in a pinch. But, um, but yeah, you, you definitely want that uh, loader, to uh, unless you're only going to plan on shooting once. You know, unless you're only going to plan on shooting once, you know, you're probably going to want a loader. <laughs> All right, well, oh, that's funny. All right, you guys, that is it for our first look at Wave 5 from World of Tanks. Big thanks again to Gale Force 9 for uh, sending this out 
for review. Uh, they have some amazing games. If you haven't already, check out my other World of Tanks reviews. Also, uh, Dune. We've had some amazing Dune videos. The new Dune movie is out. They've got Dune stuff. And they actually have a lot more uh, a lot more games and products over on their website. I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can check that out. Uh, big thanks also to my patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing and definitely make this channel all possible. So thank you so much. And I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget, again, once you're to win that lightsaber giveaway, just become a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. I will talk to you guys soon. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And as always, if you are arm wrestling a polar bear, bring backup because they do not lose easily.